My bold prediction for something that's going to happen on season 40 is that this might be the first time where you actually have to break up a physical fight between two players. And it's not during a challenge. My bold prediction for something that's going to happen in season 40 is that there's going to be a $2 million prize. For season 40, I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as everyone thinks, and I don't think you're going to be gone once you're voted out. I predict that there will be an edge of extinction this season, and therefore we have to be very careful when we vote people out. That's my prediction. There may be an alternate universe that they've created for people when they get voted off where they can come back. So not just like send a letter or an idol from Extinction Island, but they can actually physically re-enter the camp and like rearrange stuff like little elves. The idol nullifier returns or we have a never before seen twist or advantage. My bold prediction for something that's going to happen this season, which I hope it doesn't, but there's going to be no idols. My bold prediction for this season is that the closest allies are not necessarily going to work together. This season, Survivor 40, you guys are going to see the most unbelievable thing you've ever seen before. It's going to be a repeat of season 8. Not only am I getting all the way to the end, but I'm going to bring my wife there with me. Okay, my bold prediction is that there are going to be more tribal swaps this year than there have ever been before. Okay, bold prediction. The game is going to start. Men versus women, opposite beaches for individual immunity. Once we get rid of one guy and one girl, we split it into three tribes of six. God, I don't know. Okay, it's going to be, it's going to be women's alliance again. How about I go with that? Women are going to the end. The moms are going to the end. There's gonna be five people that he brings into this game. We think there's gonna be 20, there's gonna be 25 people. My bold prediction for this season is that for the loved ones visit, they will allow people's children to come. And I think because of that, all the intelligent strategic players are gonna to play to lose that challenge because no one wants to be put in the spot of deciding who gets to see their kids and who doesn't. And the person who ends up winning that challenge will end up getting eliminated in the next tribal council. Bold prediction is that the female tribe, we're going to win our first five challenges and the season winner is going to be a woman. My bold prediction for this season is that the really big threats may band together to try to take out the weaker threats. So I got my eye on you. My bold prediction is I think that some of the big dogs or the Rushmore or the, uh, the OGs in the game are going to gun for each other earlier than we think. So my bold prediction for season 40 is that I think this will be the third season ever where somebody gives away their immunity necklace. More players are going to come into the game and we don't know who they are. I think someone else besides a winner is going to come into the game. The bold prediction is it's just going to be way harder whether or not it's we have to earn rice, we're not given rice, or it's like we don't get flint for longer. I think there's going to be something that puts all of our, our kind of winner strategies majorly to the test.